Hello, and welcome to the ArcServe Unified Data Protection video series. In this video, I'll show you how to install the full component of ArcServe UDP. Here we have a diagram to show you what types of capabilities ArcServe UDP can provide when you install the full component of the product. ArcServe UDP is a unified data protection solution where you can back up and protect Windows and Linux nodes and virtual machines and VMware ESX servers or Microsoft Hyper-V servers, create standby virtual machines, restore data, replicate backup, monitor ArcServe high availability, and copy files and recovery points. After the installation is complete, you can log into the management console to manage and monitor nodes, recovery point servers, backup jobs, restore jobs, and replication jobs. Before you install the product, Make sure your systems meet the software and hardware requirements to install the ArcServe UDP components. Also, make sure your Windows account has the proper administrative privileges to install software on the systems where you plan to install the components. For more information about these hardware and software requirements, see the ArcServe UDP compatibility matrix on the ArcServe.com website. To download ArcServe UDP, you can access the installation package from either the ArcServe website or the product CD. Double-click the installation package or the .exe file and the license agreement dialog opens. Read and accept the terms of the licensing agreement on the license agreement dialog and click Next. The installation type dialog opens. Select the type of installation, standard or advanced. Standard is the default type, which lets you install the agent, of the full ArcServe UDP component, which includes the UDP console, recovery point server, and the agent. Advanced lets you install one or more of the components separately. In this video, I will install the ArcServe UDP full component. So let's select this one. Also from this screen, specify if you want to install the ArcServe UDP agent change tracking driver. This driver lets you perform a local backup using the ArcServe UDP agent for Windows. By default, this option is selected. Without this driver installed, the ArcServe UDP agent for Windows cannot perform a local backup. However, with this driver installed, you would still need to have a valid ArcServe UDP agent for Windows license to perform a local backup. You can install this driver at any time after the installation is complete by running the installdriver.bat utility. Click Next and the Destination folder dialog opens. From this screen, specify or browse to the location where you want to install ArcServe UDP. As you can see, this field is pre-populated with the default location. You can accept the default path or specify an alternative path. Click Next and the Configuration dialog opens. From this screen, specify if you want to use HTTP or HTTPS for web communication. For more secure communications, HTTPS is the recommended communication protocol. You can change the communication protocol at any time after installation. Enter the port number for the agent and the port number for the console. The port numbers are used to connect to the web-based UI, which creates a unique communication connection. The default values are 8014 for the agent and 8015 for the console. If you decide not to use the default ports, you can specify your own port numbers to be used. You would just have to verify that the specified port number is free and available for use. You will not be able to install ArcServe UDP if the port is not available. Then enter the Windows Administrator username and password. Specify if you want to display the ArcServe UDP Agent Monitor for all users or only the current user. Then click Next and the Database Settings dialog opens. From this screen, Select the database type from the drop-down list. You can select Microsoft SQL Server 2008 R2 Express, which is the default, or Microsoft SQL Server. If you select Microsoft SQL Server 2008 R2 Express, then you'll need to specify the folder location where you want to install the ArcServe UDP database. You can accept the default path or specify an alternative path. Then specify the location where you want to install the data folder for the ArcServe UDP default database. Again, you can accept the default path or specify an alternative path. Please note that Microsoft SQL Server 2008 R2 Express
does not support remote communication. Therefore, you must install the default database and the data folder on the same computer where you're installing the application. Finally, select whether or not you want the installation process to detect and overwrite the existing ArcServe UDP database. If you're installing this for the first time, the Overwrite Existing Database option is disabled because there are no databases for you to overwrite. However, if you are reinstalling or upgrading, the option is enabled for you to select so that you can overwrite the existing database. In this video, I'm reinstalling, so the option is enabled. If you select Microsoft SQL Server, then you need to specify the type of communication that ArcServe UDP should use to communicate with the SQL Server database. Select Local, which is the default SQL Server type, if ArcServe UDP and the SQL Server are installed on the same computer. Or select Remote, if ArcServe UDP and the SQL Server are installed on different computers. In this field, you need to identify the SQL Server to use. If the SQL Server type is Local, then select the server from the drop-down list. If the SQL Server type is Remote, you'll need to enter the SQL Server name. Select the type of security credentials you want to use to authenticate the SQL Server. The Use Windows Security option is selected by default and lets you authenticate the SQL Server with your Windows credentials. The Use SQL Server Security option lets you authenticate the SQL Server with specific SQL Server credentials. You'll need to enter the username and password for that SQL Server. Click Next and the Firewall Exceptions dialog opens. The Firewall Exceptions dialog lists the services and programs to be registered to Windows Firewall as exceptions for ArcServe UDP. These are required if you want to configure and manage ArcServe UDP from remote machines. Click Install to launch the installation process. The Installation Progress dialog is displayed, indicating the status of the installation. When the installation completes, the installation report is displayed. As an option, you can check if there are any product updates since the last release by selecting the Check for an Update Immediately checkbox. By default, this option is selected. Also, from the screen, you can install the ArcServe UDP agent for Linux by clicking on the link provided and following the download instructions. Now click Finish and the Check for Updates dialog opens. When checking for updates, you can download the updates from the CA server or from the staging server. Then click the Download and Install Updates button. Then click Finish when it completes. Now to complete the installation, you must restart the system. That's it. This concludes our video. Thanks for watching. For more information on the features and benefits of this application, please read the documentation or visit the ArcServe Unified Data Protection Knowledge Center.